it was only a matter of time before we got to this character. That's right, Romilia Scarlet. The character I was inspired by, hence the name. Now, Romilia is a unique character because she's from one of the most popular Toho games, that being the first in the Windows franchise. She is the sister to arguably the most to popular Toho character in existence. And yet, <clears throat> she's arguably a little underrated compared to Flandre. Because, okay, hear me out. Uh, Romilia has been playable more than uh, Flandre has been. That much is true. But, when it comes to overall, <clears throat> let's say, popularity, while she does have fans, and there are certainly people who like her, I'm myself included, she is not the one people think of when they think of Toho. They think of Raymu, they think of Flandre, hell, even Sane. But, Romelia is just kind of like overshadowed by her sister, and ironically her maid, uh, her and Mailing and and are just like they get the short end of the stick, I guess, because even Pacholi tends to get more popularity than Romilia. Now, of course, there's a whole "Hey, Mister" meme, but uh, no, that doesn't mean people know who Romilia is. They just mean that there's a cute girl in a meme. So it's like it doesn't really add anything, right? But uh, we're gonna talk about. Whether or not Romilia's ability to manipulate fate is actually real. And the reason why I bring this up is because Flandre actually thinks to herself about Romilia. And she's like, you know, Romilia just like it's acting cool. So like, let's say something happens. Romilia is like, well, I meant for it to do that because I manipulated fate. And there are traits to her character canonically that makes her rather chunibu. And if you don't know what a chunibu is... It basically means someone who has an overactive imagination uh, and, like, tends to hype themselves up in, like, grandiose. Think Mega Man from uh, Konosuba, if you if you know that anime. Or Rika Taka, Takanashi, Takahashi, one of them, from uh, the liter anime literally named Chunibyo. So, uh, Romilia is one of those. It's actually on her TV Tropes profile, amusingly enough. Because she, she has the grandiose gestures down. She acts more flashy than she actually is. Because let's be real, Romilia is not freaking Dracula, no matter how hard she tries to be. Yeah, she's very powerful and you don't want to fuck with her. But if Patchouli can like bully her, she's she's not that impressive really. And I'm not I'm not doing that to insult her. I love Romilia. But uh she, she's just like a bit of a dork, you know, like, ah, I'm epic and stuff. Which is why there's a theory that she can't actually manipulate fate and that she's more like, ah, I meant to do that because clearly someone as awesome as I would definitely mean for my mansion to explode. But, uh, so I'm just saying, why I do genuinely agree she can manipulate fate, it's just a fun avenue of thought. Like, what if she is a Chunibyo and she's just making this power up, like Fondry says she is? And, like, she's just like, yeah, this is totally my power, but it's not her power at all. Which would actually lead to a very interesting question. What the fuck is her power if it's not the ability to manipulate fate? Would it be, like, imagination-based? Like, uh, what she imagines to happen actually happens? that actually make her power far more frightening, if you think about it. Like, she's, she's so in her own head that she's like, I believe I can manipulate fate. And so she can. Imagine... That's like one of the most OP powers in Gensokyo, if that turns out to be true. But yeah. Overall, Romelia deserves more love. And uh, you guys should uh, totally, totally vote her to be higher than Flandre in the next poll I make. Because if you don't, I'll show up. And you don't want to know what happens when I show up. But uh, I digress. Uh, yeah. That's all I gotta say about Romelia. If you have anything to add, free, free, feel free to add it in the comments. Until next time.